And finally, for the last four years, the Samoan High Commission held a golf tournament in Wellington to raise funds for its junior academy. This year's event was held recently, as Alistair Kata reports, it's doing wonders for some talented youngsters. It's not the best of Wellington days, but that hasn't stopped these members of the Samoan Junior Golf Academy turn out for this tournament. Not every boy or girl can play um, uh, rugby or, or netball, so because we are natural sportsmen and women, uh, if we can uh, provide the opportunity to the Samoan children to play golf, I feel confident that they will excel. It's events like these that allow the academy to help members financially and provide professional training support. There's a lot of Samoan children who are very talented in golf, but the parents can't afford to buy clubs and to pay their sponsorship. 12-year-old Jaden Ford, one of the academy's success stories, has had international success this year, winning two major junior golf competitions in the US. They've helped me heaps financially with travelling to places and like coaching and also the training days as well. I've benefited heaps from so it's just been amazing with what they're doing. Jaden's mum Izzy understands all too well how expensive the sport can be for families. Just joining golf clubs alone is, is quite you know, it's quite heavy on your on your pocket. There are parents who would say, Oh my gosh, golf and then think about this big ticket price that's attached to it. The academies help to alleviate that stress and, and just provide it for them that way. And though his sights are set on the bigger picture, Jaden wants others like himself to have the chance to play professionally. I enjoy coming back here and talking to the members and the juniors. It's cool, just helping it get better. And you can keep an eye on Jaden. He's a star of the future. And that's Pacific News. Back to you, Madame Ann Johnson. Thank you, Indira.